Hello, uh -huh. uh, my name is Daniel Martí. I'm making this video for my ethical hacking class. My professor's name is uh, Faisal Kalim. And the topic of this video will be how to make a, a very basic uh, keylogger. I'll be using um, an open source uh, website that describes step by step how to make this keylogger. Um, and the website you can find all the parts and um, the source code, the binary code that you would also need to configure the um, the IC uh, microcontroller that you will be using to make this keylogger. Before I start talking about how to make this keylogger, I want to explain what a keylogger is. A keylogger is a piece of hardware or software that will allow you to record every key entry from the keyboard. In this case, I will be making a hardware keylogger. The first step will be to go to the following website, keylog.com. In this website, you want to go to this link. Once you're here, you can find all the information you will need to build this keylog. In this section, you can see all the parts that will be needed to build the keylog. Here you can see that we will need a microcontroller, an EEPROM chip for memory, a 12 MHz crystal for clock, two 33 picofarad uh, capacitor, one 10 microfarad capacitor, one 10 kilo ohms resistor, and one small push button. Also, you will need a PS2 extension cable. You can find all these parts at any uh, hardware store or in many online hardware store. An example one online store that you can find this part is this one, jamaico.com. After you get all those parts, you will need to download the binary file, which you can find by clicking this link. After you have this file, you will have to uh, program the microcontroller. To do this, you will need a microcontroller program. I choose this one, the USB AT89 series microcontroller program. I'm going to open the program that you choose to record the microcontroller. In this case, I, I have the Wheeler programmer. Once the program is open, what you want to do, you want to load the binary file. You click on load. You um, go to the uh, find the file that you need, which in my case is in download. Click OK, and it will tell you if the load file is successful. Once the load file is loaded, what you want to do, you want to um, program the microcontroller. Once it's done, it will tell you that the program was successful. And now that we have our microcontroller program, we will proceed to solder all the parts. To do this, we will follow this diagram. Oh, the first uh, step will be to um, solder the 
eighth leg of the EEPROM ship with the first leg, I mean the twentieth leg of the microcontroller. Um, so we'll do it like this. Connection like I'm going to make it's going to be the um, fifth leg of the uh, EEPROM with the eleventh leg of the microcontroller and we'll do it like this that's it well um, I wanted to show uh, every step of the process but as I was um, working on the prototype I realized that it was impractical to show every um, every soldering step so I decided to uh, show the final uh, uh, this the final prototype uh, uh, done. Um, as you can see, this is the uh, result. It's uh, very small. Um, the only thing I'm missing is uh, to test it. Now that the prototype is complete, the next step will be to test it. To do this, we have to connect the keylogger between our computer and our keyboard. I already did this so I proceed by typing anything And if our keylogger works, it should be able to record this simple case. Now, to get the information that is inside the keylogger, we have to disconnect the keylogger from the keyboard, but leaving the keylogger connected to the computer. Once that's done, we have to download this uh, piece of software which I already did. Run the program. Once the program is running, what you have to do is to push the button on the keylogger. Once you push the button on the keylogger, the keylogger will start uploading the information into this program. After you press the button, the keylogger will upload all the information into this software. As we can see here, we have exactly the keys that, we, that were pressed. Hello. World. And this will give you if the key was pressed and release. We can see here the keylogger works. 